Based on the introduction of our boning knife, you're going to do some demonstrations here. But I think the key thing to note on this knife is the flexibility of it. You see how flexible that knife is? That is really, really important when you're doing various different things with meat because it allows you to work around various bones, etc. That is a very important feature. Well, and the blade is five inches long, and it also has kind of a unique shape, which allows you to get around bones of all it, sorts of things. Exactly. This is very much the traditional shape of a, of a butcher knife, and as you're going to see in a little bit, that is exactly what we need to cut around those bones like you said. Well, let's start with removing the silver skin from the pork tenderloin. Sure. Very simply, we're going to use the boning knife, and what's nice, you have that nice tip on there. Right. We're going to poke through underneath the silver skin, draw the knife back, and at this point, we're going to lift up the silver skin and pull on the silver skin at the same time as we slice with the knife and off comes the piece of silver skin. And it's really easy. Okay, next we're going to demonstrate how to remove the bones and the skin from fish. And in this example, we're using red snapper. That's right. We have a fillet of red snapper and we're going to begin by cutting away the bones. This is the inside, the, the bones, and a little bit of the belly. So uh -huh. once again, just very simply cut like this with the knife. And because that knife is flexible, it allows you to get right in underneath that little bit of belly and cut it off just like that. Look at how simple that is. And again, you have to have a flexible knife, otherwise it doesn't work. You're basically going to take the knife, you're going to cut towards the cutting board, and then notice I'm going to take the knife and just sort of turn it okay. as I'm cutting into the fish so that the knife now is flat against the cutting board and I'm pressing on the cutting board. Again, flexible blades important. I'm going to use my fingers and hold on to the back here mm -hmm. and very simply saw underneath that fillet. Saw, saw, saw. And off comes the skin. And now I have this very nice fillet left over.